Welcome to Election Times. We are at the ancient port of Goga in Bhavnagar and we are standing outside what many believe to be the oldest mosque in India, the Juni Masjid. Uh, this mosque is uh, is said to be older than the mosque in uh, in Kerala, uh, the, the Cheraman Mosque which was rebuilt in the 11th century and with us uh, are some of the locals here who have rebuilt. This gateway is a new one which has been reconstructed but inside is the is the old ancient mosque of Juni Masjid. Aap, um, aap आप लोग यहाँ मानते हैं सबसे पुराना मस्जिद हिंदुस्तान का यही है देखो ये हम लोग मानते हैं कि ये जो मस्जिद है जूनी ये रसूल मोहम्मद पैगम सल्लाम जो अभी आप पहला हमारा किबलो तो जेरूसलाम ने मस्जिद अक्सा तरफ तो उत्तर दिशा में तो ने मोहम्मद पैगम बर अभी आप अच्छी कुरान में संदेश आयो के हमारा जो हम नमाज पढ़वाने किबलो अटले जो दिशा के बाम आवे ऐसे इधर सऊदी अरबिया मां मक्का दी मक्का मां काबा तरफ करवा मावे इटले हमारो एम मानो चे के लगभग आज वर्षों ने साढ़े त्रिस वर्ष सही गया ये पहला नहीं मजीद हो इसमें So what he's saying is that the fascinating thing about this mosque is that it's 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 a rare mosque that faces towards Jerusalem unlike other mosques that face towards the towards the काबा in मक्का and that's that's the basis of this claim यहाँ पर नमाज नहीं होती ना नमाज दूसरे आप नमाज नहीं होती यहाँ दूसरे मस्जिद में करते दूसरे में बड़ी मस्जिद है बाजू में वो चालू मस्जिद है वो 400 साल पुराना है exactly why why historians believe that this is a remnant from the earliest days of Islam from ancient Arab traders who came here and uh, and established a trading post in Goga. Islam began to spread in the Arabian Peninsula and Muslims began to make their presence felt in the coastal region of Gujarat. The first Arab traders landed in the town of Gagabhavnagar, Gujarat, India around the early 7th century and built a masjid here, which was later called Burwata Masjid or Juni Masjid. The history of Islam in Gujarat does not begin with the establishment of Ahmedabad city in 1411 by Sultan Ahmed Shah I, the ruler of the Muzaffar dynasty, who reigned over the Gujarat Sultanate from 1411 until his death in 1442. Most came as traders as they did before Islam and built a masjid during the times of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and other parts of the western sea coast of India as early as the 7th century CE. Gaga is situated on the mid-western bank of the Gulf of Kambat. Also known as Gogo, it was an important historical commercial port of Arabian Sea until the development of nearby Bhavnagar in the 19th century. Gaga once was the center for Islamic learning and a flourishing port which had trade links with Sri Lanka, Africa, and Middle East and was appropriately called Shri Abid, the prosperous city, the majority of whom are Muslims and identify themselves as Gagari Arabs. This small town has over 11 masjids and dargahs, which were built later during the Sultanate period and Gujarat between 1401-1572 including the old Mazar of Ashraf Shah Baba who made Gaga his home. A copy of the Holy Quran handwritten by him can also be seen here. This masjid was built during the period of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And the direction of Qibla of this masjid towards to Jerusalem which was the first Qibla of Muslim when they praying. Later the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, received Wahi, revelation, commanding him to change the orientation point from Jerusalem in the north to Mecca in the south. This ancient masjid also bears the oldest Arabic inscriptions in India. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video. And don't forget to subscribe.